Hey everyone, Matt Fontana here from Streamer, and in this updated video, we're going to go through the token migration tool and uh, some troubleshooting with some of the longer tail of uh, wallets that you might hold your data on. So once again, uh, we're on the streamer.network forward slash token dash migration uh, page. Uh, you can also find it in the project menu under token migration and uh, just always double check this URL is correct. Never enter your private key or seed phrase into any web app. Uh, that is very important. Uh, trust no one. So the migration uh, has been underway for a few weeks now and we now have over 50% of the tokens migrated. Uh, you can see the old token contract ends in 23 and the new token contract ends in 76. And uh, these are Etherscan links that you can inspect. And we have the video that you should be watching now and we have uh, the migration tool. So to use the migration tool, I click, uh, I have read and agree to the terms and conditions. I have uh, MetaMask installed on this uh, browser. And if you don't have MetaMask installed or something has gone wrong, you'll see this. Uh, please open the page in a Web3 enabled browser. And if you see this message and you believe that uh, maybe you shouldn't be seeing this message, then uh, we'll cover this in the troubleshooting uh, later in the video. But for now, I will go to migrate tokens. Uh, my MetaMask is uh, configured for uh, the account that has the data tokens and uh, it's on the mainnet and uh, it has some ETH for to pay for the gas of the transaction for the upgrade transaction. So you can see that I have 47 of the old tokens and I've done this a few times actually so uh, I have some of the new tokens as well but uh, that's just uh, because I've been demo demoing this a lot and typically we would uh, you would use your entire balance, but uh, for this demo, I will uh, just migrate two tokens. But before I do that, I will click Add to Wallet. So this will add the token to MetaMask so that you can see the new token. You might not need to do this at the time uh, that you run the migration. Uh, MetaMask is currently uh, adding the new token, but if they're not there yet, you can click Add to Wallet, then Add Token and then we'll be able to see the, the new token, which has the, the new logo, which is orange background. So once I've done all that, I'll click Migrate Token. This will pop up uh, MetaMask Transaction, which uh, you can edit the uh, gas fees and whatnot, but uh, if you're ready to go, you see Upgrade here. I'll click Confirm, and then I can see that the transaction is pending. I can click on that and view on Etherscan and uh, kind of um, see the progress of that transaction being mined. So I can leave this running and uh, we can come back to it. But um, yeah, for the, uh, the transaction, well, uh, we can actually just uh, see what, what happened. So the token was migrated and this is, you should see something similar to this, uh, essentially. So this is the new token, as you can see. Um, I migrated a whole 25 cents worth, so uh, job done. And um, under assets, I can see that I have two extra data tokens. Cool. So now uh, we're going to talk through the um, the long tail of wallets that you might have. So the first point I want to make is that if your wallet has uh, Wallet Connect, then probably sit tight because we will be enabling this feature on the token migration tool. So if you have Argent, Rainbow, uh, many others uh, use Wallet Connect, uh, you'll be able to use the token migration tool you know, scan a QR code and it will work. So uh, at the time of recording 20th of September 2021, uh, we don't have this uh, feature yet, but I expect sometime in October we will. So if you are uh, using a 
uh, a wallet that has a wallet connect, maybe sit tight till then. Your next option is to use the DAP browser inside of your wallet. So for example, the, the Trust wallet has a DAP browser that can interact with the migration page. You just need to go to uh, the, the URL of the token migration page inside that DAP browser, and it will pretty much work just like the MetaMask uh, instructions did. And uh, if you have Coinbase wallet, uh, the combination of the uh, mobile app and the browser extension seems to also work in that same way. Uh, if you have a hardware wallet, uh, Ledger or a Trezor, uh, you can use uh, the MetaMask to uh, do this. So it is a case of uh, clicking this uh, profile icon and connecting your hardware wallet and following uh, the steps there. Um, and if you do have troubles with that, um, just later in this video, I will have some troubleshooting tips for you. Uh, but if you do have a hardware wallet that's uh, that's uh, not a ledger or a trezor, maybe the best thing to do is to send the tokens to a supported wallet like MetaMask. Uh, for those that are holding their data tokens on my Ether wallet, uh, we have a whole different video for you. So I imagine that that video will be linked in the description. Uh, it should look something like this, and it is a little bit hands-on. Uh, it requires you to call uh, the, the upgrade uh, function of the smart contract, but we uh, hold your hand through the entire process. So I expect that uh, most people should be able to complete uh, that upgrade process on my Ether wallet. Uh, next, if you hold your data tokens on an exchange. So uh, skipping back to the token migration page, we actually have the status of uh, all of the wallets. Uh, there might be a, a lag of, of a few days, but uh, in general, we, we keep this updated. And we showed the, also the data markets that, uh, that are trading the new token. And uh, we also show the status of exchanges. So uh, some, some are pending, some are uh, coming soon, and some are uh, completed. So Binance, the big one, they have uh, already completed their token migration. And if you do have X data on uh, Binance, you can use their uh, convert tool. So binance.com forward slash uh, your language forward slash convert. You'll be converting the old data token, which we denote as X data, to the new data token uh, denoted as data. Okay, so that is that, and uh, yeah, if if I haven't covered your wallet, uh, there are many wallets out there, uh, maybe best to send those tokens to a uh, supported wallet or wait for the Wallet Connect uh, feature of the token migration tool. And lastly, I'll finish off the video with some uh, frequently asked questions or some uh, troubleshooting tips. So uh, my DAP browser uh, doesn't load the migration tool. And this is um, out of our control. Uh, essentially, some uh, the short and sweet of it is that some DAP browsers work just fine and some don't. So uh, if, if your DAP browser does not work, then you need to send your tokens to a compatible uh, wallet. Uh, what happens if your ledger or your trezor can't connect to MetaMask for some reason. And it's it's surprisingly tricky uh, to make that connection these days. Uh, I, I've had trouble with this and members on our team have also had troubles with this and it seems to be uh, something that you always need to keep updated. So I'm talking about your hardware devices firmware and uh, making sure that your browser is up to date as well. So those are two things to look out for. And uh, once we updated the firmware, also always double check that in your Ethereum app, uh, specifically talking to the Ledger wallet, but maybe there's something similar on the Trezor wallet, uh, that the contract data is set to enabled because after you have uh, gone through the firmware update, sometimes it disables it. 
and this is what happens when you see, um, at least for me, on uh, Firefox, uh, the wallet transactions will fail with object object, and that's because uh, the firmware needs to be updated. So uh, please uh, make sure that that is uh, all up to date uh, before launching the token migration tool. Uh, as I've as I've covered, uh, you need to run the page in a Web3 enabled browser, but if you do have everything uh, set up as you expect it should work, uh, then maybe resetting your browser's cache uh, could be, um, could be a, a possible fix. Uh, and you can also import your wallet into the mobile MetaMask app, and I've had some luck with that. So uh, browsers are funny sometimes, so you might need to try a different browser, re refresh the cache, etc, etc. Uh, my tokens don't appear after I migrate, so uh, some wallets uh, require you to add a custom token, and uh, so just look through the uh, interface and find the, um, that option, and the, the token address is on the uh, token page token migration page, it's this B76 um, token contract. You can go through to Etherscan and uh, copy the, uh, here it is, copy the address to clipboard or um, add it in in some other way. But uh, this is the address that you need to add in for that custom token if it is not, uh, if it doesn't immediately appear. And also remember that the the transaction, the upgrade transaction needs to be mined before the, the new tokens will appear. Uh, it's too expensive to migrate. Uh, so it's uh, the Ethereum uh, network fluctuates over time. So if, if the price is looking a bit expensive, uh, maybe wait till a quieter time. And just remember there's no deadline to migrate. So maybe just uh, best uh, wait a bit longer and uh, when the gas prices go down a little bit, maybe maybe uh, do, the, do the migration then, and you can always uh, choose a lower gas price uh, because typically you don't need the, the new token straight away, so you can uh, bid low on gas, and maybe it, uh, maybe it um, gets mined within a few hours or even a day. It, it might not matter to you, and you get to save some, some Ethereum. Uh, my streamer token is uh, on the is BEP20, so the Binance Smart Chain. So I recommend to ex uh, exercise extreme caution here because uh, the data token is not yet on Binance Smart Chain. It might be in the future, uh, but there are scam coins out there claiming to be data, and uh, yeah, that's not nice if you if you happen to buy that uh, particular token. So please don't do that. Uh, please make sure you follow official channels for uh, any tokens that are on the Binance Smart Chain. And lastly, my data tokens are on XDAI. So uh, we expect there'll be a swapping pool on XDAI in the near future. Uh, but if you are uh, really desperate to get your data tokens onto Ethereum mainnet, you can use the uh, Omnibridge to move those um, data tokens over, except that the, the gas prices are quite high. So I recommend waiting for the uh, swapping pool, uh, which will come in the future. So that's, um, that's all the advice I have for you. If, if you're still stuck, uh, please uh, feel free to reach out on our Discord. Uh, that's probably the best way. Uh, you can also email us at, at support at streamer.network and we'll be happy to, to help you out. Uh, typically, if you can't see that you're, if you're worried that it didn't work, you know, inexperienced 99% of the time it has worked, but the wallet just hasn't uh, shown the new token. Uh, if you go to Etherscan, plug in your address, you usually do see your token there. So that's, um, if you, if you have that moment of panic after you've done the migration tool, maybe uh, just check Etherscan and it's usually, uh, it usually shows that the, the token is there, but the wallet just has, uh, is a bit slow to, to show that new token. 
So I hope that helps. Uh, good luck and uh, have, uh, yeah, um, all, wish you all the best in your uh, token migration. Cheers.